Hey, it's Chris Witten from Premier Real Estate, and today we are in Chapachet. For those of you that maybe aren't from the area, Chapachet is a village here in Gloucester. Right off of Route 44, we are on one of these older roads here. It's called Oil Mill Lane. We are at 5-7 Oil Mill Lane. We have a duplex behind me, a two-family that is being sold all together. So some great news there, a lot of upside here. Now, this home was built in 1790, but built rock solid. You'll see that once you get in. Uh, in fact, a um, portion of the uh, basement, the foundation, is, uh, was poured concrete not too long ago. So you'll, you'll get to see that once you get here in person. There is a side entrance to the basement um, over here. Behind me, we have two units. This one here on the left side is a little bit bigger. They both have three bedrooms. This one has one and a half baths. That one has one full bath. They both have in-unit laundry. So if you're an investor listening to this, so a lot of great things going on. As we uh, will continue on with this video, you'll find out. Um, you do sit on 0.14 acres. Right here is your well. It's an artesian well. And then your septic is um, in towards the side yard and the backyard. Everything was great when my clients bought this back in 2017. So we don't anticipate any issues there. Um, architectural shingled roof, fairly newer boilers, one for each side, separate utilities, including a house, um, electrical meter as well, all sorts of great things. Um, let me show you first unit number five. So welcome inside to unit number five, a little bit of Monica. So here we go. We got some character in this place, let me tell you. Um, and you're gonna love it. Again, 1790, but a lot of updates as well. So you have the fireplaces here, both on this side here in your dining room and on the flip side. There's also the same thing for the other unit, which you'll see in a moment. Below us in the basement are beehive ovens. If you don't know what it is, Google it. They're really cool. They haven't worked for a while, but you could try to bring those back to life. But you can see here a lot, a lot more character. Your kitchen here, you got a good size window. You did at some point have some updated cabinetry, so you get some good cabinets in here. Um, a great dining room, as we said. And then we head on in to your living room. Your living room here is good size, as you can see. Here's the other side of the fireplace. Um, they do have a couch here. You can put also a love seat here. And they have a big screen TV on the wall. So you can have your modern amenities here in this older home. Again, I love these floors, the character, the wide planks. So here on the first floor, before we head upstairs and see the three beds, you have a full bath. The one full bath here has been updated at some point with tile floors. You have tile um, surrounding in there with your cast iron tub slash shower. And then here is a great room. Now the washer dryer is in here. If you wanted to, you could actually have stackables and make this a home office. Um, it's doable, but they, right now they kind of use it for some storage and your laundry. So here on this unit upstairs, you have three bedrooms. Uh, two of them are pretty good size, as you'll see. You have here the primary, which does have a closet, um, and it's also got uh, a lot of natural light coming in. You also have your second bedroom here that faces the back corner. This here has your closet as well. And then you also have this one that it's a little bit smaller. Could you use it as a bedroom? Yes, but it's also possibly a great office or a playroom. So here in this side, it's actually a little bit bigger than the side we were just in. Um, as you can see, it's fairly open. You do have um, some updated, uh, an updated kitchen here. You've got your dining room area as well. Now you have a little bit bigger of a living room here, um, which is good. The stairs to go up. You can also have access to the backyard, which we'll wrap up this video momentarily with. But now you have a half bath here on the first floor. As you can see, the half bath is pretty good size. There's a stackable washer dryer in here. If you wanted to get creative at some point, you could take over some of the space just outside of the bathroom and make it a full with a stand-up shower. That's for you to figure out at some point. Let's now head upstairs. All right, here on the second floor, it's also uh, a little bit larger. We'll go right into your primary bedroom first up here. As you can see, this thing is huge. <laughs> Um, you have you know, uh, double closets in here, so plenty of storage. Uh, you also can put a king-size bed in here. fits pretty easily. And then as you can see here in the primary suite, you have a full bath up here, which is also pretty good size. Your shower slash tub is in here. 
Now, as you walk down the hall, you're gonna see, just like in the other unit, two similar size rooms. At the end of the hall is the bigger of the, the rooms. This is the second bedroom. This here, um, you have your wooden floors, gives character, again, like I mentioned. And then you have the little bit smaller room, absolutely could be a bedroom, also a great home office or a play area. So now, here we are, um, as I mentioned, you have the door that comes off of that unit that we were just in, um, off the living room. You do have a little private deck, so if you want to have your grill on this side, somebody, you know, the tenant, or if it's going to be an owner-occupied, you could do that. And then we're pretty much fenced in. So here's what happened is that this used to be a gradual slope. When they put in the new septic uh, years ago, what they ended up doing is backfilling all of this. So now you have these big cement blocks that work as a retaining wall, and now you have it all fenced in, and you're looking pretty back here. You can see they have a uh, fire pit here. Some act plenty of room for activities back here. <laughs> if you'd like, um, if you've got pets, that uh, works. If you've got uh, the kiddos, the nieces, the nephews, they can come over and not have too much of an issue. And again, like I mentioned, your um, septic system is back here. And I pointed out your well, which was in the front corner there. So you're looking great. What you've got here, now you can see, is a two-family. Um, it's got two units, a duplex, so to speak, side to side, um, both with three beds. The last unit we showed you on this side has one and a half baths. The first unit we showed you has one bath. Lots of great things going on here, lots of old school charm, and all of this just a short distance to all Chapachet has to offer. 44 right there, so you scoot down, you can be in Providence, 295, not too far away, Smithfield, my current hometown, but also you have all the antique shops that are around here, some great dining as well, lots of great things going on. You go the other way, of course you're in Connecticut, you know that, you know where Chapachet is. If not, Google it, cool little village with a lot of history. We are at 5-7 Oil Mill Lane here in Chapachet. My name is Chris Witten from Premier Real Estate. Let's get you in here to see it for your second time.